So my first love is coffee roasting, but my real love is cover crops and compost. So I'm here in my happy place. We're planting cover crops here amongst our coffee plantation, really for the nutritional benefits. The, the transfer of nutrients from cover crop row through to the coffee is really what we're after. So we look forward to continuing that over the years to really see the benefits in fruit production and healthy trees. But one of the just wonderful benefits that has really surprised us how good it is, is the natural insectary habitat that we have when the cover crop comes into flower. So we get all sorts of little pollinators coming in. Growing cover crops through the year means you're bringing in a whole range of food sources for the pollinators through the year. So you're not just relying on, say for us, the spring flower season for the coffee or the August flower season for the macadamias. You've actually got flowers throughout the year, so a whole range of pollinators, a good thing for the environment and helping us even get more honey from our bees. It's, it's relatively easy to plant for cover crops as long as you get a little cedar. We've just got a quad bike and the little cedar is only about a metre, 1.2 metres wide behind it. So it's quite simple to have that rolling action of going up the row, slightly turning the soil and then having the seed follow straight away behind it. One of the things to consider as a farmer is selecting your seeds through the seasons. So one of the things we found was that we had climbers over summer like cowpea and it just wants to climb. So in summer, it was climbing into the coffee trees. So you've got to be careful with your seeds through the seasons in case you're worried about how they might behave. So when these are ready to be terminated, as they say, we'll just mulch them in. We would have pre-bought the seed ready for the coming season and get that ready in the seed out to go through on that same day. And that'll help reduce the grasses coming in and taking over that space. Because we really want to add heaps of biodiversity to the soil. We've got something like 14 grasses they found, 14 ground covers in our rows on either side of the cover crop, but we want to add more biodiversity. Over 20 years ago, my parents-in-law really worked on developing the rainforest regeneration down the bottom at the creek line. So we've been really focused on looking after the, the wildlife above the soil, we might like to say, the wallabies and the possums and bird life galore. But now we've really been inspired to look after the life below the soil. Here I am amongst extra cover crop that we're growing across our farm. So we've gone beyond the research blocks, then working with the Southern Cross University School of Organics and Regenerative Agriculture Alliance. We've gone beyond that because we believe in cover crops so much that we've got quite a few extra rows. It's what we're doing here on the farm with all the biological inputs that we're doing. Cover crops being one of them, making compost is my other great love. Adding that natural nutrition to the soil just knows, it just makes us feel good that we're looking after the soil and the building up, in fact, building up the health of the soil for future generations to enjoy and future food production.